Hey, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion, trucks and SUVs. That's your passion, too. Hit subscribe, click the bell, and smash the like button. We're talking Ford Bronco. Yes, big news today from Ford out in the desert. They unveiled the next-generation Ford Bronco racing prototype. Throw down. Not the new Ford Bronco, the racing prototype. They're talking about suspension. They're talking about the overall size. They're talking about the engine. That's all going to give hints to the next generation they're going to reveal next spring. Now, I'm in rainy, cold Nebraska, so clearly I wasn't there. However, I have a friend who was there and shot the video from the event, so I'm going to give it to you raw. I'm giving you all the event footage. First, we're going to hear from Shelby Hall, who's got a lot of history with Ford Bronco, and she's going to talk about her history with that with her dad, famous off-road racing legend Rod Hall. We're going to go next with bringing the truck on the stage, talk about the engineering team, and then the designer is going to talk about how secretive they had this design in Ford headquarters and how they were able to build it. So... I'm just giving it to you raw. I'm going to kind of edit a little bit, but not very much. Lightly edited just for you. So make sure you check it out and leave comments below. What do you think? Is this what the Port Bronco you wanted to see? Is this the T6 platform? It's going to share the Ranger. It's going to be the Ranger size. Did you want to go full like uh, bigger Bronco, like uh, OJ Simpson style? Go ahead and put it below. I'd love to hear your comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. So let's get to these videos. Good morning. Good morning, Shelby. Good morning. Hey, Shelby. Hi, Shelby. Hello, everyone. My name is Shelby Hall, and I have had the honor and the privilege to race this awesome Bronco. It has been a part of my family for many, many years. My grandfather taught me many many life lessons, but one of those lessons that has really stuck with me is to take on any adventure and to cherish every moment. And I feel so incredibly privileged to be able to take on this next adventure, although I do wish that he was here to share it with me. So I think most everyone here knows my grandfather, Rod Hall. He was an incredible man and a fierce competitor. In five decades, he accomplished over 160 wins, race wins, 160. And he also holds the record of the most consecutive wins 35 wins in a row. He also set a pretty incredible record hand in hand with this Bronco. He drove it down the Baja Peninsula in the 1969 Baja 1000 to win it overall. He beat the motorcycles, he beat everyone else. And that has not been touched in over 50 years. This year is the 50 year anniversary of that win. I had so much fun of being a part of the project to restore this Bronco when him and I decided we wanted to start racing it again. We restored it together and we drove it together as often as we could down in Mexico and any other race that we could put it in, honestly. So this year is incredibly bittersweet for me, being as it is the 50th anniversary of that victory. I really wish that I had the opportunity to race in this Bronco with him one more time. At this Baja 1000 would be incredible as this year's Baja 1000 actually starts on his birthday. But unfortunately, we lost Rod earlier this year, so we won't be able to race this Bronco together. But I think the next best thing actually is going to happen. Ford Performance has created the next best thing. So I am so incredibly excited to finally share with all of you this amazing program. Please check it out. Everyone. Please welcome the Bronco 
our race prototype. Oh, we forgot to tell them that these don't actually have doors that open, so... Thank you, Shelby. That was a fantastic tribute. And it's a really an honor and a delight for our team that's partnered with you and your family on this fantastic project. So thank you again. I cannot wait. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. My name is Hao Tai Tang. I'm Ford's Chief Product Development and Purchasing um, uh, Leader at Ford. What I wanted to do today was actually build on the news that we had last week where we showed you the brand new Bronco uh, logo. This is all part of a lead up to the product review that's going to happen in the spring of this year. This fantastic and awesome machine to my left is the Bronco R race prototype. It's a purpose built uh, race ready truck that's designed to showcase the capabilities of our all new Bronco product. And it's more than just a tribute uh, to Rod Hall because to really properly honor his, his legacy and his fantastic achievement of 50 years ago, what we want to do is actually race this truck. So today we're announcing that we'll be entering this in the SCORE International 1000 Baja race later on this month. And I'd like to introduce uh, Cameron Steele, Mr. Baja himself. Cameron's also known as the Desert Woo! Assassin. That's a great, great nickname, Cameron, thank you. So Cameron and his team will be campaigning this truck. And we also want to announce today that Shelby will be taking stints behind the wheel as part of Cameron's team. So congratulations, guys. Thank you so much and uh, do us proud. Thank you. Yeah. So as you guys know, uh, being uh, longtime Ford supporters, Ford Performance has had a really long and very successful legacy in off-road desert racing. Uh, we all can recall the Rough Riders in the 1990s, the Rough Rider Trucks uh, campaign by uh, Bill Stroke and his team. Later on, we used the Baja 1000 to actually uh, pivot the Ford Performance uh, positioning and get into off-road racing with our Raptor R uh, race truck. And then more recently, we actually had a, a secret mission where we tested the all-new F-150 with the military grade aluminum chassis um, and body along with our EcoBoost engine ahead of our launch of that uh, very successful best-selling truck in 2015. Well, today we're back at it again. We'll be racing this Bronco uh, truck, and you can see beyond the, the resemblance to this legacy product and hinting at, at the new styling of the new truck, it is underpinned by the same T6 frame and architecture as the production truck. So we'll be using this to test not only the the frame and the chassis, but also the powertrain and driveline system. So this is all part of a process for us to really prove out uh, the integrity of the product and the integrity of our engineering ahead of the production launch and really launch it with uh, true off-road credibility. I talked about the Bronco design influence and the DNA. There's no better person to come out this morning and actually share that story with you than Paul, who's our chief designer. So Paul, please come on out and join us. Okay, so for me and my team, this vehicle has existed back in Detroit, down in a basement, the end of a very long corridor behind a secret looking door where my team met every day and they uh, sketched and created this vehicle using our very strongest and fastest technologies. So we developed this uh, through just a few weeks. We were using polygon modeling. Uh, we created our prototypes through VR, uh, through printing, but actually most of the work, the evaluation work was done in virtual reality, which we're experts at these days. So, in order to represent the vehicle down in our basement in uh, Dearborn, we, uh, we created an environment in virtual space just like this desert here. So it's fascinating for me to see the vehicle on its wheels in this desert, but it also kind of looks familiar. So, hopefully when you look at it, you can see just how much we're drawing on the spirit of the original Bronco and the design of this prototype vehicle here. As you, uh, you feel free to come forward, but as you look at the vehicle, you'll see how strong the uh, central element through this grill area is. It's the same Ford, the same Bronco. And actually, we pick out the R in red to signify that this is the race truck. You'll notice as we move through the vehicle, you'll see it's a very structured uh, two-box shape with a very vertical 
I say windshield. It would be a very versatile windshield. You see how simple the surfaces are. This is all about capability. All the features we've added are all about performance. Very short front overhang, very, very sheer bottom side. And then, unmistakably, the graphics are harking back to God's iconic vehicle over there. So we take the red, uh, the white, and the black, and we play out in a very, very different way here. Or we even bring back the blue with that original race stage. So whereas the original vehicle's graphics were very linear, horizontal, here we've got some more drama into them. So we've got the diagonal section at the rear with the red, and that was the metallic instead of the solid red of the original. And instead of just flat white and black, we introduce a, a camouflage white and black, because this is, after all, a prototype. So it's beautifully on its wheels. When you look through the, the opening, and I am the person who forgot to put the doors in, You'll notice that the instrument panel, again, talks back to the original vehicle. It's very simple. And actually on the center console, you'll see that we've got a celebratory uh, plaque uh, honoring the 50-year celebration that we have. 